it's still surreal, um, but, but it, it's been unbelievable. And uh, my family couldn't be more excited about being here. Um, but you know, to be the head football coach at Penn State, I mean, what an unbelievable opportunity! And we don't take that for granted. Unbelievable, unbelievably appreciative of this opportunity, and we're going to work extremely hard. To, to make everybody proud of the product that we put on the field and also in the community. How much fun it was for leaving? It was very difficult. Um, I got in this business because I love kids and I care about people. So uh, to walk in that room and say goodbye to those guys and the text messages that they've sent me and you know, the, the relationships that I hope I have with those young men for the rest of their lives uh, means the world to me. So it, it was it was very, very difficult. I mean, I'm a, I'm a passionate and emotional guy, so it was, it was difficult. I think you're a natural ambassador anyway, but do you have a sense yet for how this... this community and Penn State needs someone to bring it together because it's been fragmented. And your predecessor was a pure football coach and people could respect him for that, but he didn't really embrace the role of being an ambassador, figure that all that other stuff that a lot of football coaches oftentimes have to do. But you seem like you're a natural at it. Do you have the perspective of what needs to be done here or not? Well, I think that's going to be a process. I think I have a pretty good understanding, but I think it's a process. I do think of being at a place like Vanderbilt where I probably had to wear more hats than any other college football coach in the country, different than a Penn State in terms of building a program. But um, I, I think that experience is going to help and is going to help prepare me for this position. Why did you have to wear more hats there? Simply because of the, where the program had always been? Is that what you mean? Yeah, you got to remember, four bowl games in yeah. 122 years before we got there. One winning season in 30 years. Um, you know, top recruiting class ever was 70 before we got there. So the fact that we've been in three straight bowl games. Uh, we won nine games last year. They hadn't won nine games since 1915. Oh, we got all the you know, stats. You know, <laughs> so, so, you know, that's my point. My point is, there was, at the time that we arrived, there, there wasn't a fan base. Yeah. Um, you know, there wasn't enthusiasm in the program. There, there was there was a lot of missing things, and we had to get out on campus in the community and, and build a sense of pride in, in, in being being Vanderbilt. Which entails what? Name the hats that you had to wear. That's which, sure which, is, which is dealing with the media, which is going out and speaking in every speaking engagement I possibly could. It was going out and connecting with everybody in the community, uh, on campus. I went around to every fraternity and sorority three times. Um, and you got to remember, there's only 6,800 students. You know, so just, just building something. You know, just building something that had never really been built before. You talked about leaving Vanderbilt and then, you know, telling the kids that news that you were going. These kids have been through it a couple times here. How do you come in and command their their trust and their respect right away? Well, that, you know, that's something that's going to be earned over time. You know, you don't just you don't just walk in and grab somebody's trust. It's it's how you behave and how you interact on a daily basis. Um, but I think what happens is, you know, I have a coaching staff and myself that. You know, we're genuine. We're real guys. You know, what, what, what I have to be careful of is I'm a regular guy. I'm just like you guys. And I don't want to be this robot coach who just sits up here and gives these, these you know, standard answers. I, I want to get to know you guys. I want you to get to know me and our, and our program. Um, and that's how I am with the players. I don't get up and stand in front of them and try to act how a head coach is supposed to act. I talk to them in very plain English. I let them know how much we care about them. And we're going to get to work. This is their program. We'll be as good as they decide to be. We're just in a position of leadership to help them get there. When you get them together as a group, what's the first thing you tell them? I'm going to talk about the relationship. I'm going to talk about chemistry. I'm going to talk about the reason we've been successful in the past is because of those two things, the relationship and the chemistry. And that, to me, that's where it starts. You know, uh, I'm a fundamentalist. You got schemers. You got fundamentals. We're going to we're going to we're going to focus on fundamentals: tackling, catching, you know, blocking. What what allows you to be successful in the game? It's not about the schemes. It's about the the techniques. So we're going to talk about caring about the kids. We're going to talk about having great techniques and fundamentals. We're going to have sound plans on offense, defense, and special teams. And we're going to have an advantage that very few programs have, which is 107,000 people.